happy campers. I'm Carla. Welcome to Singing Nomad. I am at a local lake camping solo. Love it. I've been waiting for this and I really need it this week because a couple of weeks ago I had an episode that mimicked a mild heart attack. So they had me do stress tests, EKG, all that jazz. And I was told I was cleared to do my every 10 year colonoscopy thing. And they were going to do a GERD, look inside my stomach, just some diagnostic stuff. And so I did my prep. You know, the prep. Enough said. I did it all day long and I almost felt sick from not eating. So at 8 o'clock in the evening, a nurse from his office calls and says, Miss Kraft, I hope you didn't start your prep today. Well, yeah, I did. I've been doing it all day long, and why are you calling me in the evening to tell me this? The doctor says you're not clear with your heart, and it's just unsafe for you to be going through with these procedures at this time. So, I did the prep for nothing. <sighs> well, silver lining, I lost a couple of pounds. You know, it's, it's one thing to do this prep every 10 years. But to do it like twice in the same month, oh, I was frustrated. But I was gracious, don't shoot the messenger. But can you believe that? Why couldn't you call me earlier in the day and I could have avoided all that? Oh well, I need to de-stress here in the woods. Got my tent all set up. Got a new gimbal to kind of stabilize my camera a little bit better. And bear with me. <laughs> This is my maiden voyage with it. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so I'm learning. It's fun. Here's a view outside, and I'll put my wind panels, privacy panels, up later this evening. Right now, it's letting a cool breeze in, which is very needed. So, love it that I'm in this really private space. It's nice. So here's my setup. I have my butane stove, tea kettle, some food in the cooler, some other things. Here's my water and a funnel to catch the water into the gray tank, which is just a five gallon empty water bottle. So that makes it real nice for washing my hands or brushing my teeth. Most of the time when I camp, I like to decompress and just relax. I think we need those intervals of time, don't you? Where we completely rest our bodies and minds. So usually I don't bring work to do or anything. I'm just there to enjoy the ride. But for this trip, I did plan it as a, a work trip and I brought my laptop, etc. And if you work at home, you understand probably what I'm about to say. I find it very difficult to focus at home because I'm looking around all the chores that need to be done. So also I uh, live on a ranch where my husband works and so he's in and out all day long. I never know if he's coming in or leaving. So it's just really hard for me with my ADHD symptoms to focus. You know, I do have a little, um, studio with lights and background and all of that but there's no door it's just partitioned off a, a big living room so it is very easy for me to get distracted so I thought since I'm camping locally I thought I would just bring some work and get it done and you know I might start doing this more and more because it's so nice and quiet here no distractions except nature but I, I'm liking this. I might do this a little bit more. How do you keep from being distracted if you work from home? Please leave it in the comments because I need some help. Shout out to Peggy, my sister-in-law, for getting me this pocket knife for camping. I needed one and is that not the cutest little thing with a high heel? I would have cut myself with this thing. I remembered I have a 12 volt fan in my truck to, that helps me sleep at night. It was really warm here in the tent and got up to 90. So I broke this thing out and have it clipped to my chair right on my face. Helps a lot. 
Got it plugged into the jackery. Got quite a bit of juice left on that. Awesome. day today and now we're going to do a cold light uh, snack of the dinner because it's warm and I have some chicken salad that I, I already chopped up the organic shallots and celery and had that ready to go can of chicken with some pepitos a little Celtic salt I did olive oil because I didn't want to try to get mayonnaise to stay cold out here so it's pretty decent tried it already. Some flatbed bread crackers in LaCroix. How do you say this word? When I'm home, I add stevia and Key West lime juice to it and it's amazing. Bon appetit. Well, today was a success. Got so much work done. It was a lot of fun and it was restful and I needed that. Nice to get away. So this is my first night. I'm pretty comfortable with my little fan on and a nice breeze coming through. I am so looking forward to some camp coffee in the morning. I love it. What a great time. My favorite time camping is in the morning. So sweet dreams. I'll see you then.